in Bhagavad Gita, Krishna is telling who is very dear to him in 12th chapter. From, uh, verse, from verse 13 up to 20. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and when I read with devotees, I told when I'm reading here, uh, all these qualities, I'm thinking, I have not these qualities, I have, I have all these qualities. <laughs> and what does it finish? No hope. <laughs> I don't know because <coughs> uh, I repeated story uh, how one man returned from long time traveling after maybe some, some months to his woman and he was so late and what he is doing he is purchasing something tasteful for your cat it's a way <laughs> I thought Yes, now maybe I have not these qualities uh, here in this world, but Krishna knows very soon this Manjari uh, will control him. <laughs> <laughs> and now he, he is trying to make anything to, how to say, to get, uh, how to say, <laughs> to, get good to get good relationship. I don't know how to say English. <clears throat> This means such uh, devotee also very dear to Krishna. And mm -hmm. I also explain this is a difference between uh, mercy, which is possible to, uh, mercy, which is coming from Shimati Radhika, and mercy, which is coming from Krishna. Mm -hmm. they have, yes, mercy has difference. Mm -hmm. um, Krishna, Krishna is like a father um, mm -hmm. and is asking why you did this. You are asking me about mercy, but I did this. That's what I would have explained. He is like a sick father. But mm, she might radical like a mother. She is not asking. She's just giving. <clears throat> if someone becomes very dear to she might radical, this is mean this personality becomes so much dear to Krishna. <laughs> and um, also, then I explain. Um, is Sarva Dharman Parityajam Ekam Sharnam Braja Mam Ekam Sharnam Braja One devotee who was seated here Sharnam Goswami disciple My Guru Bhai He told I thought what this mean Krishna is telling Go to Varaj And take shelter of one One my most beloved Means Shemati Radhika and this devotee told, yes, it's uh, obvious. Uh, uh, we know this from our children, the Sam Maharaj. I told, yes, we know by, um, how to say, we can think like this, but children, the Sam Maharaj explain only Sharnam Braja, and not explain Mam Ekam. Mm. I thought, my Gurudev explain Mam Ekam. <laughs> It's also very important. It's so much rust in these words. And a very nice, uh, very nice story. Then the devotees heard the devotees heard the story how one professor of Sanskrit received Krishna's darshan by just by uh how to say Sadhusanga is our guru day. Yeah? They thought, wow, he is so fortunate. <laughs> <coughs> wow. Uh, that is very like this, uh, uh, this uh, lectures what how should we def, um, how to say uh, underline in Bhagavad Gita what he underlined in Bhagavad Gita <laughs> as it is short pass Bhagavad Gita mm. for chapter number four I started from ten fifteen who can realize Krishna uh, how Krishna relies on himself and how we can realize ourselves. And then chapter four about relationship. And it was uh, before I was uh, a little bit worried because I don't remember what the sequence how she was explaining. But when I started, it happened uh, spontaneously. Mm -hmm. It was very beautiful and do like it. <coughs> Thank you. Yeah. Nasesh, did it? Please. Yes. Yeah. Oh, I'm here since two days back. 
back in mm. Germany and I'm sleeping, sleeping, sleeping. It was very, I, I felt so blessed on my journey when I entered the, um, the airplane. I saw, oh, my seat is between two huge Indian guys and I have to sit nine hours. <laughs> I said, oh, no. Oh, what to do? And then I saw in front of this two, three seats in the middle were um, free. Nobody was sitting. And then I thought, oh, I can sit there. Maybe only one person is coming <laughs> or oh, now nobody. And I was sitting there and waiting and nobody was coming so i had these three chairs for me and i could lie i could sit um, in lotus sit and all this and uh, that all oh, thank you swamini and the seats were comfortable on the flight to Vrindavan, the seats were like this <laughs> so um, my trip was easy it was really easy and when i uh, reached the train station um so Devi and Sukriti and Madurika came and picked me up. This was a really feast. <laughs> yeah, <but laughs> so nice. But I was so tired when I take a shower. I, I never made this experience. I was sleeping in the shower and I knock with my <laughs> with my head on the wall. <laughs> like, what is this? I was so <laughs> because last night there was really less sleep. So, and then I, I miss Kirtan here and I had Kirtan on. And, um, but I, I'm really, really greedy to do my bhajan. So I joined last night and but I, I'm not sure how can I handle this to be at two o'clock. For us, it's two o'clock in the night. This is now, yeah, the challenge how to do because when I like to, to join at two in the night, I have to go to bed very early, I think at seven. And then I cannot joy, join our Arati. And when I join, not join Arati and the others is also not so good. So uh, how do you do this, Radha Sharan? I think you have the same times like we here in Europe. Uh. In Russia, almost eight o'clock. I am ah. in Moscow. Ah, okay. Two, two, two hours more than in your place. Eight? No, it's two o'clock in our place. No, 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 no. Uh, in our place, plus two. In compared with uh, German, I think. I mean, I mean the morning lectures. The morning lectures are at two o'clock. Ah, no, no. It, if I want to join more in lecture, I need to wake up for, uh, just before 4 o'clock. Uh, I have alarm 10 to 4 a.m. Time mm -hmm. to time I'm joining morning reading. Yeah, okay. Yeah, because the morning lectures are so deep to the, this Radha uh, Rasa what they are talking, it touched me so deeply. Wow. Um, and but does somebody um, record it? I think not. Mm -hmm. Why not? It's before was recorded. I think also now also recorded. Yeah. Kishori, is this possible that somebody can record? Uh, one was in Radha Dasyam when this uh, Pancha Tattva in the morning. It was very good and. Yeah, this morning sharing is very special, huh? This so, okay, I try to put on Radha Dasyam. This would, it would so good because the next days I'm with our Sangha, we are together with Mohini and Chakshu in their place, Madhuri and Madhuri Prim and Gauravani, we will stay together and make this a little feast, yes. New Year feast. So, um, I cannot get up at two o'clock there in, in their place. I don't know where I sleep then. And so this would be so nice, Kishori. Yeah, I try. And now I'm going to check Gurudeva's room. He can join or not. And uh, 
you know, this Jai Kurishiaji is like me, and uh, still not so much longer devotee, maybe, Eranachara Babara Seshua Iriri, and now Utawa Prabhu Soka, please help some question or sharing. It's good for his advancement, our advancement. Yeah. Jai and um, please open your heart and uh, any question, they are beautiful souls. They will help us. Okay. Ah, uh, you are not uh, interpretation. Okay. I release your interpretation. I will come back after. Speak directly. Thank you. Chira de. Could you talk? Chira. Open your mic. Could you open your mic? Rade? Oh. Jai, Jai Krishna, he is in translation room. Mm. So we cannot hear him here. Rade, Rade, can you hear me now? Ah. So you can uh, translate yeah. from 11 Russian Sangha. Now it's your okay. private. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. I try Thank you. Hello, everyone. Um, okay, special special Q and A. <laughs> I feel so honored. Um, I I put a question in the chat, but I think it will be easier for me to actually say it. Um, so it's about how Radharani feels. It's about her feelings, and. What my question is, is often uh, when Krishna receives lots of love from Srimati Radhi, he becomes, he gets into ecstasy and then becomes unconscious. And at that time, um, from what I've read and from what I've heard, that Radharani is trying to, to bring him back, you know, into consciousness. And in that time, you know, she needs help, you know, from the, the manjaris. But <laughs> at that time, what is she feeling? You know, is she, I imagine there's so many feelings when Krishna is unconscious and is in full ecstasy. But is that feeling different from when, for an example, uh, when, uh, Radharani and Krishna are together and someone says, the black bees are gone. And she starts to scream and cry. Oh, my bumblebee is gone. My Krishna is gone. I know that's a very special feeling. But how does that compare to when Krishna is just unconscious and full ecstasy from her love? Maybe, maybe, maybe Udavaji will answer. No, that was not the good morning. Rade. I was just trying to change my clothes. I was trying to put on my clothes. That's why my <laughs> kind of <laughs> I mean the the um, the short answer is as we don't we don't know. This is not said anywhere that I know of. Hmm. Um so we can only speculate, but it's a very beautiful thing to dream about, meditate about. And I, the question that goes hand in hand with your question is, <clears throat> does she even understand the power she has over Krishna? You know, much of what we say in, in our line, in bhakti, is that, well, because Krishna is dependent upon Radha for the loving sentiment that help him know himself, uh, he's inferior and she's superior. But we don't really know whether she is humble about this and is surprised by it or pleased by it, or whether she's proud about it. We don't know this either. I think we don't know. I, maybe this is a good question for Gurudev. So you can imagine, or I can imagine, that what she feels is a kind of mixture, like you said yourself, 
of being very happy that she can that her love is so great that she can control her the one her she loves and make him faint with it oh this is though this is a kind of masculine controlling mood in any case <coughs> there might be that feeling and then in addition the feeling that she's she's worried about him of course She's concerned, and then, like you said very correctly, the manjaris come and and help her to revive him. And usually, it's one version or another of uh, telling him stories about previous pastimes, which is quite beautiful. Bringing so whispering memories into his ears, and so he can remember. So there must be a bit of you know pride or arrogance, and there must be a bit of fear and there must be a bit of gratitude that the monteries are there the two to help but the fact of the matter is this really isn't said to my knowledge the answer to your question so it's something that that it's very nice to meditate on Adirai, thank you so much the the main thing i was feeling when i was thinking about this question is i was almost laughing i i wonder when he becomes unconscious and then Ladika has all of these feelings, some that you described and some that I'm sure there's so much more um, that we haven't talked about yet. When she has those feelings and she's like, Krishna, or please come back, or I love you, or however she's expressing herself, I wonder if that's making him go even deeper <laughs> into the ecstasy and making him become, mm. you know, deeper into that ocean and more drowned yeah so that's why and because everything is so new he just she is saying to come back and to be safe you know to be together but in the opposite way that's actually making him go deeper and deeper and deeper and deeper into the the feelings i'm yeah. wondering if, if i'm on the right track or if i'm going into a weird direction with my feelings no no nothing weird about this it's uh, it sounds it sounds very plausible. Radha Charan, you want to? Um, <clears throat> I remember <clears throat> two occasions, which is this, um, I describe a situation in Vilap Kusumanjali, <clears throat> this story about Saj Bales in the beginning. But in this situation, Krishna was unconscious at the end of the love battle. And Shemati Radhika was proud, she was proud about yourself. Okay. It's uh, in this uh, verse, uh, in this verse, uh, to Manjari addressing hero as his Halakamalini, the earth lotus. <clears throat> but in other occasion, uh, Krishna uh, came to this uh, unconsciousness state. I don't know, it's, uh, I think, not so much correct, this word. He's actually consciousness, but what I understood from uh, explanation he was lost in her feelings it was completely new for him so much it's like a uh, tsunami of uh, feelings and he does know it's new for him and he is always uh, asking inside of him what is it what is it what is it he does know what what's the feeling uh in this moment it was uh, not even in the middle of their love battle and Shimatiratika was desperate she tried to make him consciousness, to make again be with her in play. But he not reacting. He is not reacting. And what is why uh, she was desperate? This, is, this feeling was mentioned uh, by Ananda Babaji Maharaj. She is desperate. And what is why Manjari, who is uh, assisting her, helping her in this moment, and starting to sing song, for Krishna, which is she is learned from Shimati Radhika in cave, this Manjari so dear to Shimati Radhika because she doing what she could not. And and she Gurdev told in this moment, Shimati Radhika feeling uh, 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 he told in this moment, Manjari is object, Shimati Radhika is subject in this moment. <laughs> he was smiling. He thought <clears throat> Shimati Radhika 
object for Krishna. He is subject. But now, Manjari become object, Shemati Radhika subject, <laughs> and Krishna is subject. Both completely depend on Manjari. And the conclusion, they love and battle, they love and battles, they pranaya, no possible without Manjari. This means absolute truth, not two. Absolute truth is three. In the middle of everything, uh, all words, is three, not two. <laughs> without Manjari, no possible. All existence depends on Manjari because it's written by Anandas Babaji Maharaj. It's written, he's telling, even one drop of Ananda, which is coming from the union, uh, giving power to all existence. All existence is exist because of this one drop of Ananda. And what is uh, Manjari is doing, she is, uh, when she's singing this song, she's in this song, which is was uh, come from Shemati Radhika's heart, she's prepared for this situation, Shemati Radhika, and she explained her new love, new feelings in this song. And Manjari now singing to Krishna. She's in this uh, way, poetic way, she's explaining to Krishna what she what he's feeling, what the feelings Shemati Radhika gave to him. And then uh, for me, it's like, no. Uh, it's like uh, if someone um, rotating very quickly, uh, no picture, no picture, everything is mixed, and a person can be lost. Now, she, Krishna is the uh, uh, water pool of Shemati Radhika's feelings, and he's lost. And Manjari giving his, him the point inside of these things. You see, these things means this. This and she is creating picture for him, and he is catch it, and he again uh, in the world means uh, again new world is uh, came to him new world because uh, Shemati Radhika, uh, and he they create a new world by their feelings, mutual feelings. But I heard this explanation once we dis uh, discuss this in Shukadev's room <laughs> in morning time, and Damodar Prabhu gave this explanation. <laughs> I remember this. But Shemati Radhika was desperate so much. And then when, she, when Manjari helped, she was so much grateful. So much. Radhe, Radhe. Radhe, that's so beautiful. Thank you. Radhe, Radhe. Um, and uh, some Manjari have, um, have to say, uh, in this story, two Manjari singing, uh, she needed maybe two, three lines to sing from this song, what she has learned from Shemata Radhika, to uh, make Krishna active. But some Manjari uh, has the speciality to do this service. In this Manjari, maybe we'll sing three, how to say, syllables. <laughs> it will be enough to, uh, to uh, re uh, return Krishna back. Because it's her speciality. Because Ed, uh, all Manjaris have their own spe speciality. For example, some Manjaris, they do in service to uh, her lotus feet, Pada Seven. But Pada Seven has so many kind of Pada Seven. Someone doing massage is the speciality of this Manjari, do massage. Some, dec some Manjari is decorating. Some Manjari is looking uh, for security of for lotus feet, but no any turns on the way, for example. Or oh, some Manjari uh, curing if some problems happened. This turns or uh, other stuff, which is a sharp stuff on the earth. And some Manjari can do this service. It's a speciality, speciality. <laughs> for example, our Param Guru, the Radhagunda Babaj Maharaj, Shimati Ranga, the uh, Manjari, her speciality is uh, Alta Seven. She is putting this red lock on her lotus feet. They do in so many stories, but in some in some uh, stories they especially good, very uh, excellent. Mm. Rade, rade. Radi, radi. 
Um, no, what came to my mind, and I'm very inspired for, from this question, thank you a lot, um, is when she was so obvious about yeah, stopping the love flow. When, when Krishna is fainted, her love flow is stopped immediately. And what does that mean for her when we are not um, ready to receive her love? Mm. Uh, this makes me uh, <laughs> a little bit sad when I think about this, how often I'm not ready to receive, how often I'm somewhere else and her love flow is always there. Such big love, such a beautiful, soft love she is giving. <laughs> um, this is touching me very deep because then this helps me now when I'm running away or when I'm my heart is closed to say, oh Swami, I know you are there like a loving mother wants to embrace and I'm jumping away, my dear Swamini, my beloved. Um and how can I serve you when I'm jumping away and when I'm not in your love flow? I can only serve her when I'm in love flow. And this is what Swamini, what came also. She only wants to make Krishna happy. And when he fainted, she cannot make him happy. Uh, cannot give her love to him. And this is the only reason for her, her is existing. This must be so, so heavy. And at the same time, it's a big opportunity for us as Manjuris to help. Exactly. I was, that's what came to mind. So nice, your reaction. It's the Manjuris then who come to put back in order the flow of love, that, just like you described. So this is what, and this is our role, your role and my role. Yeah, the manjuris that can put into repair the flow, the broken pipes, <laughs> and repair the flow. But you and know, my dear, when you're when you're feeling this jumping back and forth, it's not because love is gone away. It's just it's very close by. Yeah, maybe slightly out of tune, but very close by. It's a symptom of it being there. You know. Sometimes and I feel. Uh, I apologize. Uh, when you're saying that maybe you're jumping around and you're wondering where the love is, sometimes uh, the picture that came to my mind is when when even even a lover or a parent is watching their child playing around out in the in the outside, for example, or in the house, wherever the kid is running around and jumping and all this love and laughter, and sometimes <laughs> they may they might not remember their parents. It's not in their mind right now, mm -hmm. but that whole picture if you step back and you look at the parent and you look at the child those two together that whole picture is a picture of love without mm -hmm. that love there it wouldn't happen the kid wouldn't be running around jumping and the parents wouldn't be there pouring that love into the child yes so it's still there it's just how is the child feeling the love yes. is how i felt mm -hmm. it's so beautiful it's so beautiful and this love flow here in our existence, in our bodies, we can can use me, me. I can use this picture that she uses us not only to help Krishna when he is fainted. I'm not like this in, in this Swaru, but I can bring her love flow into the world when when I'm open for it, yeah. and can be her instrument in this case. Yeah. In a way, she can't. <laughs> she can't be too much in control. You know, she has such power over Krishna, over her lover. But if this control were absolute, then it could not be love. And so we have these episodes where she he slips away, or he faints, or he's not there, and then she depends on the mandaris, like you're saying, Rashi uh, Shadi. Then the mandaris must help, and she's dependent on others. So there's no absolute love. That would be 
That would be the old Vaidhi method. Power, pure power, pure love, pure power. It's not like that. She has to be vulnerable too. This this situation with uh, Karen or Kara is remind me of the situation. In similar in similar way, like Shimati Radhika uh, uh, couldn't tolerance what she couldn't serve him, give love him, and make him happy. In same way, Shima, uh, Manjari also they won't always make Shimati Radhika happy. Uh, they also always want what this current from their heart go to Shimati Radhika. And then Shimati Radhika in the mood of Krishna and forgetting what she is Shimati Radhika, they also not happy <laughs> and trying to return her to consciousness what she is Radha. Yeah, it's uh, in situation when morning time after uh, night past time Shimati Radhika returned with his Pitambara on herself. And Muk Mukhara, the grandmother of uh, Shimati Radhika, knocking to her door and asking, oh, my uh, uh, granddaughter, are you still sleeping? And this, her voice, evokes Shimati Radhika. Not uh, just a call, but return to her. Now she's, uh, remember, but she is Radha. And uh, due to this, Manjari is so happy, this uh, grandmother. Your grandmother, they so happy because this Mukhara returned Shimati Radhika. Because before it was Krishna, actually, outside Shimati Radhika, but inside Krishna, <laughs> because she's thinking, I'm Krishna. How they can serve? They're trying to serve, they're trying to change this number, but she's not alone because she's thinking, I'm Krishna. They could not serve. And they're so happy, so grateful to Mukhara when she's returning Radhika, what they can again serve. Because in the same way, also, they live in service to Shemata Radhika. Lovely. I'm afraid I have to leave you now to put my clothes on. And I'm not going to let you watch. So. Huh? Ah. Hmm. What do I need to look for? There's another question, uh, Radha Sharan and all the others. I'm thinking about Tulsi Manjari, uh, no, not Tulsi Manjari, Tulsi Devi, and and because I've I felt her presence or I feel her presence in Rindavan so strongly, and um, I have this feeling when I'm here back in the West, she is there. What I only know is that she is, but I know that she is arranging everything and she is helping us for serving. But how is her influence here in the West or when we are not in Vrindavan? For, for me, Shimati Radhika is everywhere because she is in my heart. She is always with me. No, I'm talking about Tulsi Devi. Tulsi Devi. Mm. You Sorry, can you can you again ask the question? Vrinda, Tulsi Maharani. She is the uh -huh. creator of everything in Vrindavan. Um uh, how we, the all rounding for the love games, for the Leelas and everything. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. In Rindavan, and her influence there is very, very big and strong. And um, how is her influence outside of Rindavan? I heard from Vaishnavas, Acharya Vaishnavas, it's written in Shastra. In that place where is the word growing policy is Rindavan. Uh, she giving influence on big, big uh, how to say, big distance. All this place, place, uh, place becomes Vrindavan. And also, in any place where is uh, Radha Dasi in form of Vaishnava or Vaishnavi coming, also Vrindavan. They bring in this lamp, they Vrindavan. 
That means yeah. not 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 as the planned. That means when we are like we talk some weeks before, where is Rindakund? I have to stay uh and um no Rit Rindakund, Radakund. Everybody has to stay on Radakund to make to grow up in his spiritual life. And we discussed this with Guru Dev and he said, like I remember, it depends on your consciousness. And not that you have to be directly with your body in Radakund. Is when you are with your conscious there in the Leelas and you always remember and chanting and what you do, then you are in Radakund. Is this the same with Rinda Devi? Or has she be there with the energy of the plant? Um. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, of of course, uh, how to say? I remember how she could have explained. We uh, we have Radha as a personality, and we have Radha Shakti. It's impersonal aspect of Shimati Radhika. Radha Shakti in the heart of everyone as a capacity to love, but Radha in particular place. But Radha Shakti can be everywhere. And this Radha Shakti also ha has a personification. It's uh, in form of Gadadar. Gadadar. What? In form uh, of? In form of Gadadhar. Mm -hmm. Panchtato, one from Panchtato. I think same about Tulsi. Tulsi is a personality. But she has some energy, some capacity. And this energy can be around. For example, when Shilnaran Maharaj came to Moscow for festival in 2000, one devotee brought with him one extra sense. And this extra sense thought, wow, then they just come into the place where it was festival place, festival place. He told, I can see light coming from this personality, from Naran Maharaj. And they realized this light. Uh, coming to the kilometers, kilometers from him. Everywhere, there's light coming around him for kilometers. He's creating everywhere, every down around him. And uh, if I'm, about, uh, okay, Jay Krishna. So, um, one thing I was going to add um, off of what uh, Radha Chana was saying is, when he was saying that we, wherever we are, depending on how our feeling is, that mood that we are in, that consciousness that we're in, that creates Vrindavan around us. So when you're wondering about what kind of influence Tulsi Devi Das has, if, if when you're in that mood that's connected to her and connected to Radha's energy, the impersonal energy that Radha Charana just said, the Radha Shakti, you really start to notice more of that influence that, that is around you. Where, whether it's you're really inside of the, the Lidas, which I, I haven't experienced yet, so I can't really say it, or something as small as, oh, yesterday, when this happened, this connected to what happened to today. Um, thank you so much. Like you said, when you're on the 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 the, uh, the plane, you were able to see the the chairs open for you, and you were able to have a much more relaxed flight. I would even say that uh, that is one of the arrangements, one of the influences from you being in that mood, connected to Radha's energy, connected to uh, to see Devi. If I'm wrong, please please correct me, Radha Saranamji. Um, now it's here some Russian devotees. Maybe I need to translate them. Dragi predone, and my premier is the вопрос поступил каким образом тулоси распространять вокруг себя вриндаван. Нужно ли быть во вриндаване, где тулоси как в образе вринда вринда деви все организует? Вот я сказал, что согласно Ачарям и Шастрам, там, где Тулси, там Вриндаван. Так же, как и там, где 
Браджа Расика, там, где Расика Вайшна, в каком бы месте мира он ни казался, там будет Риндаван. Вот. И они распространяют влияние. И вот вопрос возник такой, каким образом это происходит? Каким образом? И Джей Кришна сейчас об этом говорит тоже. Джей Кришна, maybe I not understood you correctly, but you remind me one thing, how Tulsi influence on me. When we did every day Tulsi Parikrama in Mongar Mandir, and especially I found this when I'm doing uh, offering uh, gilems and praying, I praying, addressing Tulsi Manjari and uh, offering to her gilem, I found uh, next influence on me. My heart becomes softer. Uh, Tulsi is very soft, uh, very soft. And uh, softness in, in heart creates relationship because, because if someone very hard, very difficult to get nice relationship. Only if someone has soft heart, then relationship going nicely. I have this experience. Recently, I started, I started to speak with close person, close friend with me. And I found... Um, We couldn't found each other. We are speaking each other, but we couldn't found it. We are not, uh, how to say, like in different ways. But then, in a particular moment, my heart becomes soft, and I found, no, now connection is come. Just softness coming to the heart, connection coming. Uh, Vrinda Devi, um, Yoga Maya, um, Tulsi, oh, Vrinda Devi, she is Yoga Maya. And she is giving this quality to the heart, softness. And due to this, connection possible, yoga possible. This is what, how I feel. Because what does mean Vrindavan? Vrindavan means so much softness to feel each other. Дорогие преданные, я поделился тем, что как я понимаю, может быть, я не совсем понял Джей Кришну его, то, что он дополнил, но мне пришел на этот ум, на ум, когда он говорил, что как а, о Тулосе. Вот, э, я вспомнил, что происходит с моим сердцем, когда я поклоняюсь Тулосе, когда предлагаю лампаду или обращаюсь к ней, когда кланяюсь, называю ее различные имена. Я заметил, что сердце становится мягким, оно становится нежнее. Вот. А в отношениях очень важно нежность сердца. Если, сердце, если в сердце нет нежности, контакт не происходит. Вот. Потому что нет, нет нежности сердца, значит, есть грубость. Вот. А другое сердце, оно будет страницей грубости. Вот. Только при нежности сердца у вас происходит контакт, то есть йога. А Туси — это Вринда Деви, то есть йога Майя. Она строит йогу, поэтому дает нужное качество, нежность сердца. И Вринда — это такое место, где сердце очень нежно, нежны. Вот. Вот. И, ну, я так понимаю, как, как, каким образом Туси или Вринда Деви устраивают как они, как, как они распространяют Вриндаун? Они распространяют Вриндаун, она распространяет Вриндаун через сердце, через uh, нежность сердца. This is mean the Tulsi or Vrinda Devi, they distributed, or how to say, influence all around, creating Vriндаун by makes hearts more soft. What I understand. It's my experience. Рада, рада, дорогие Вайшнавы, Вайшнавы, а можно я добавлю еще тоже немножечко? Да, да, да. А, ну вот как а, я да, понял вопрос. Не, не, по порциями что-то мог переводить. Да, да, да. А, ну как я понял вопрос, Джей Кришна, да, да. Ну то есть каким образом а, распространяется вот это влияние? А, пришел такой пример, что... Все в этом мире, ну вообще в принципе все в творении звучит на определенных вибрациях, на, на определенные звуковые волны, так скажем, издает. Если мы с кем-то встречаемся, у кого э, вкус к чему-то очень силен, мы переопыляемся этим вкусом. Ну, вот, и также, ну вот вы упомянули, да, что даже не то, что где в Ринда Дэви, там в Ринда, но где и Расика Вайшнав, там в Ринда. Вот. Ну, я, я просто сейчас мысль общую донесу, я думаю, вы это ну, сможете привести. И когда мы встречаемся как с Расиком Вайшнавом, так и находимся в поле влияния Туласи, мы попадаем под эти вибрации, и наша душа, ну то есть мы, мы как душа, 
хотим также звучать на этих вибрациях. Вот, ну, примерно вот такая картина у меня вырисовалась. Mm -hmm. uh, Radamadova is explaining what uh, he is thinking about uh, this question, how Tulsi is expanding bring down around herself. He is telling uh, any personality has own vibration, heart vibration, all personalities. They can speak about their subject or not speak, but this vibration coming from the heart means influence on every everything around. And then someone coming under this influence, for example, uh, vibration coming from Tulsi or from uh, Rasika Vaishnava, if someone close to them under influence, they will soon will be in same tune, will be same vibration. In this in this, in this way, uh, this uh, ex expansion of Rindavan is going on. Going on. Нет, перевел. Once Shon Renga Samaraj told, um, if you got association with uh, Rasika Vaishnava, uh, be with him or be with this personality. And uh, don't worry if this personality will speak Prajalpa, means uh, mundane, mundane talks, or other subjects, not written down subject, <laughs> because he told in his heart only love for Radha. And this, he can speak everything outside, but inside his heart always speaking, I love Radha, I love Radha, is his main vibration, is the base on which. Uh, other words, but these words only actually, inside, it's uh, containers, it's vessels, inside only these feelings, I love Rad, I love Rad. He can speak everything, but inside this, I love Rad, and everyone who is hearing this Mandan talks from Rasika Vaishnava, he will receive his words with uh, nice nectar, I love Rad. <laughs> Maybe Andaka can tell something. We are discussing now, Andaka Ji, I am so happy to see you. Uh, we're discussing now is uh, Raseshwari's questions and uh, Jay Krishna also told something about this. How uh, Tulasi is expanding Vrindavan around herself. It means Tulasi plant. Ah, Tulasi plant. Yeah. Ah. Tula and, uh, Tulasi uh, we, we have... in, in the Western oh. countries or wherever, when you are not in Vrindavan, Tulasi Davis influence. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> when I first came to uh, join the temple and then to grow tools, it was my I was doing this like for four years. Uh, yeah, yeah. Can I also translate it to Russian? Anda как говорит, что мы задали ему тот же вопрос насчет Тулуси Деви, как она распространяет влияние Вриндавана за пределами Враджа. Он говорит, когда я присоединился к Искону и поселился в, в Исконовском храме, первые четыре года мое служение было служить Тулуси. Mm -hmm. so... uh, <laughs> my god okay so interpretation yeah let's do it oh seems like you are just a moment rade so i was uh, I got the seeds, and then uh, I didn't. Ex I didn't know how this Indian, <laughs> Indian, uh, Indian plant will come out. But it came out in one week. This small tool. Андака рассказывает, что он получил семена тулуси. Он думал, как же мне прорастить индийские растения здесь в Европе. Но, тем не менее, говорит, через неделю они проросли. Mm. 
and we organized that uh, she is uh, she feels uh, hot like you know very cozy nice life for her uh clean water mm. you can translate мы организовали, говорит, для нее необходимое для нее атмосферу такую вот, как в Индии, то есть чтобы было тепло и чтобы было достаточно влаги, воды. Yeah, and she uh, in few months uh, actually she grew into a very nice like small bonsai, <laughs> like uh, like tree. <laughs> tree. It was very small. И она в этой выросла в такой вот маленькой деревце, как бонсай в Японии, знаете, есть такое, там они выращивают такое маленькое, такое пушистое, кругленькое вот такое вот. And from uh, from pictures of Vrindavan, you know, the paintings of Vrindavan, uh, Radha and Krishna are mo- mo- very often under the shade of some tree. И на картинках uh, Радху и Кришну мы видели, что Чаще всего Рада Кришна под тенью какого-нибудь дерева. So for me it was like, uh, because I was the beginner, I didn't know much. Uh, for me it was Это this... Нач... А, translate, translate. В то, время я был начи... в то время я был начинающим преданным, поэтому для меня это было в новинку. So for me it was this like a bonsai tree and then smaller Radha and Krishna underneath. <laughs> this was my picture. У меня, говорит, было такое представление, это тулси, вон, как маленькое дерево бонзай такое, и там маленькие Рады Кришна под ее тенью, под тенью этой маленькой тулси. Такое было у меня картинка. Такое представление. So, in theory, because I was beginner, in theory I knew uh, I knew that uh, Vrinda, Vrinda Devi, Tulsi Devi, that she was very dear to Radha and Krishna, and that she uh, goes wherever Radha and Krishna go. Также я знаю, что теории знал, что uh, там, где растет Тулус, и там туда отправляются Рады и Кришна. Mm. Они встречаются там. Yeah, that's... Uh, so, I had like a natural inclination to grow plants. And then I was given service. The devotees didn't know. They asked me, could you grow Tulsi? So, I said, yeah, let's try. So this was my this was my like uh, sp- spiritualization of my natural inclination. It, it got spiritualized by growing tools. Он говорит, что моя естественная склонность была выращивать растения. И когда я пришел в испанский храм, мне сказали, не могу ты выращивать тулс. И таким образом Через служение Тулуси моя вот эта природная склонность выращивать растения, она была удовлетворена. So I was very happy that I am growing, uh, growing uh, like a, a person, helping, taking care of a person who is very dear to Radha and Krishna. Я был очень счастлив, что мне дали возможность заботиться о личности, которая очень дорога Радха и Кришна. Mm. Yeah. And of course, uh, we sang every day and I think even evening, but every day in the morning we sang this Tulasi Arati. And it slowly, this Tulasi Arati slowly is, uh, slowly is coming to my understanding what it means in Raga sense. Mm. Um, sorry, the problem is with internet. Do you repeat? Uh-huh. So, and we we were also singing Tulasi Arati to every day. Mm-hmm. 
So then slowly this meaning of Tulasi slowly coming to heart. И мы пели Туласи Арати каждый день, и постепенно смысл слов тот Туласи Арати начал входить в наши сердца. Mm. Yeah, and I'm glad that uh, yeah, these past few years, uh, Rada took me to her, how to say, more close awareness. И через какое-то небольшое время Шимати Радика меня приблизила к себе, чтобы я больше осознавал ее. And we have amazing. To, uh, I'm I'm reading, for example, now I'm reading Bhavana Sara Sangraha from Krishna Das Govardhan, Krishna Das Bhavaji from Govardhan. Uh, он говорит, что я читал в, uh, о Кришнадас Бабаджи из Гавардхана. Или это, или это он написал, он писал, по-моему, насколько я помню. And there, there uh, Vrinda Devi, actually, what, what I read the last thing about Vrinda Devi, that Vrinda Devi organizes Lila. She is organized like Lila Shakti. Vrinda Devi is Lila Shakti. И он пишет, Кришна Бабаджи с Гавардхана пишет, что Vrinda Devi является Лила Шакти, то есть энергией, организующей игры, Лилы. Игры, игры. And uh, 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 as far as I feel, Radha and Krishna are so relaxed. They don't know, want to know what is going to happen. They just leave everything to Vrinda to organize. И благодаря этому, потому что он организует Лилы, Рада и Кришна полностью расслаблены. Им не нужно ничего организовывать самим. Они просто погружаются в эти Лилы. Mm. So this is wow. <laughs> so much love and trust. То есть так много любви и как называется trust, это доверие. Mm. It's for me like wow. God trusts someone so much that he is completely relaxed. И для меня это так удивительно, вот этот эффект вызывает эффект удивления. Вау, что Господь кому-то так доверяет, что может полностью расслабиться. Yeah. Yeah, I like this. <laughs> Thank you so much. Yeah, what, 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 I, what, what is uh, interesting about this intimate relationship between Vrinda and Radha and Krishna, wherever Radha and Krishna go, Vrinda is there. Like essential yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. of their life. Uh, еще, еще один важный момент, uh, который я вспоминаю сейчас, это то, что куда бы ни отправились для игр Рада и Кришна, очень важная, существенная часть этой игры это присутствие в Ринде. Mm. So Rada and Krishna. Ah. Tell, 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 uh, Anu. I, I translate it. I just translate it. Yeah. So whatever sh like form they take, Vishnu, uh, okay, whatever Vishnu form, Simha, Rama, uh, yeah, whatever form, Krishna, Chaitanya, uh, Vrinda is always very near. Какую бы форму они не приняли, Рада Кришна, например, Лакшми Нарайана, Нарисвинха со своей шахтой и так далее. Чайтанья, Вринда Дэви придет также, она будет участвовать в их играх. Therefore, how to say, Vrinda is very, very important to us, to, I feel to us, 
to get uh, to how to say she knows all the secrets of Lila and she knows the the importance of manjaris so she can understand our prayer Vrinda please <laughs> make me uh, make good manjari for my rad and he to Vrinda Devi она очень хорошо понимает нас манжари и она слышит наши молитвы и она помогает нам в играх Hare Krishna устраивать встречи Uh, we have we have prayer we have prayer uh, what we are singing every day which is we are telling to uh to Lucy to Brinda Devi we are telling please make me your close maid servant and we ask Gurudev what does it mean what's the meaning this is meaning because she has a special capacity to make union between Radha and Krishna she organizes with Lilas yoga yeah. lilas mm -hmm. and this is a uh, stories of majari they need this capacity to make the union mm -hmm. uh, также я вспомнил что когда мы поем вечером арати мангир мандири uh, мы поем о том что от тулуси о время да и пожалуйста сделал мне близкой служанкой тебе вот почему и uh, объяснение такое что шугадев объяснил нам что Поскольку она организует лилы, она организует встречи и рады Кришне, то это очень важное служение для Манджари. И они хотят быть, они хотят быть наливны такой способностью устраивать их встречи, несмотря на все препятствия. Because so many, so many obstacles. Манджари uh, need this capacity to organize the meeting with yoga. Uh, и несмотря на все эти препятствия, они нуждаются вот, вот в такой способности организовать их встречу, их йогу. Uh, you also remind me in one story. Um, one of my friends, Shunran Goswami Maharaj disciples, he explained me his experience, interesting experience about Tulsi. He told once he did one something he did uh, not good due to which um, his, his heart become not so soft and no so sweetness in heart. And mm. he suffered. Uh, suffered one year, he could not uh, take it out from his heart. And once, in night time of Ekadashi, night time, he started to sing Tulsi uh, Stava. It's uh, possible to to find in internet, easy. It's written in this uh, glorification of Tulsi, who is doing this in night time of Ekadashi. He will be. Um, free from many apparat, many of, of uh, offenses, and he told in this night when I did this, I prayed to Tulsi. I feel how nice some something which is sharp come out from the, my heart, and my heart start, started to be movable and beating so much, and I again start. Well, now I'm feeling completely, and sweetness again came to my heart. This was his experience, and uh, he is uh, uh, how to say, mm, uh, give me gave me inspiration to do say, to do, to do this, and I also did it. I found it's it's uh, working, and after this, even not doing this night time of glorification, just coming to the tools, giving an obeisance, and calling her, addressing her, oh tools, oh Vrinda, oh Yoga Mai. Uh, And I feel heart becomes soft. And after this, what we're doing in Munger Madir, we're going around the tools and coming in front of uh, Radha Mohan. And I found after this, when I come uh, coming to Radha Mohan, I feel inside some banda relationship with them. Because just because of tools is this gift, heart becomes more softer. Um, I need to translate. Также Anda Kamnia напомнил. Один интересный опыт. Я подружился с одним моим духовным братом. Его зовут Рамчаран, и он рассказал, как однажды он что-то сделал неправильно, и у него в течение года он страдал, сердце своим чувствовал, что сердце стало более твердым, меньше вкуса, меньше сладости, и он не мог от этого избавиться. И он прочитал, что если кто-то произносит тулс и ставу ночью, выкадывающий, 
132 оскорбления уходят из его сердца. Вот. И он это сделал. Ночью в Экадыш он повторял эту суставу. И он почувствовал, как будто какие-то 32, как будто какие-то ножи из сердца были вынуты. Вот. В момент, когда он повторял ту суставу, он сказал, и сразу же сердце начало, стало таким подвижным, трепещущим, живым, и вкус вошел. Вот. И он меня таким образом вдохновил, и я тоже стал повторять ночью ту суставу на Экадыше. И, а После я заметил, даже если я просто подхожу к Тулусе, обращаюсь к ней, о, Тулусе Деви, о, Вринда Деви, о, Йога Майя, а потом предлагаю ей лампаду, я обнаруживаю, что сердце становится нежнее, и когда мы в Монгермандире обходим Тулусе, мы потом подходим, подходим к Радамоху, мы стоим перед ними, и я обнаружил вот этот момент после Тулуси. Поскольку сердце стало нежнее, я начинаю чувствовать связь с Радамохом, что у меня есть с ним связь, я чувствую сердце. Так, рады, рады. Вриндаван. means believe is Radha Krishna. To feel them in heart. Rasheshri, mm. <laughs> thanks so much for your good question. <laughs> so many things came. came. This was uh, Rasheshri's question about us. She mm. <laughs> uh, it also reminds one thing I heard in Munger Madir, one devotee gave his uh, experience about chanting Mahamantra on Tulsa beads. And he told, when I am, when I am chanting Mahamantra on the Tulsa beads, I am feeling Tulsa Manjari keeping my hand and bringing me to Radha. She's holding my hand, Tulsi Manjari, and bringing me to Radha for service. Is his feelings during then he's chanting. And Gurudev told also, he told me, but his experience when he's serving Tulsi uh, Devi, Tulsi plant, he's thinking about Tulsi Manjari because of same name. She's giving, reminding him so much, and he's almost so much with Tulsi Manjari in this moment. Uh, I, I need to translate. Uh, uh, также один преданный поделился в Монгермандире своим опытом. Он сказал, что когда я повторяю святое имя на четках из Тулуси, я чувствую, как будто Тулуси Манжари держит меня за руку и ведет к радике для служения. Вот. И также uh, Шилгурдев сказал, что когда он поет в Тулуси Арати, когда он обходит Тулуси, просто благодаря тому, что такое же имя Тулуси Деви и Тулуси Манжари, вот, он очень сильно погружается в мысли о Тулусе Манджари. Он, то есть Тулусе, э, растение Тулусе напоминает ему Тулусе Манджари. Рады, рады. So, Ануджи, what will go, go on now? What will happen now? Um, uh, what's happen now? Usually, Radha Govinda come in and he's reading and translating and he's explaining. But today he is in travel, traveling now. He couldn't take part in uh, Russian Zoom. This is what happened. And now spontaneously uh, happened what happened. Uh, um. uh, uh, Rasheshri asked question and we started to discuss. Jai Krishna spoke something, I spoke something, you spoke something, like this. Uh. <laughs> uh, before you, Kishori came and she told, Vrindavan means spontaneous. <laughs> no plan. <laughs> no, some plan can be, but so much things happen spontaneously. <laughs> That's, this is happening. Yes, Radhe Radhe. Thank you very much. And we started one hour before or more than this with uh, questions and answers. And no, maybe... You can ask your Russian devotees what they like to do, or maybe they have questions. Very interesting. Дорогие преданные, может у вас есть какие-то вопросы, которые мы можем обсудить, как только что мы обсуждали вопрос, рассеяли про толоси. Может кто-то хочет задать какой-то вопрос? Гавинда Махини, Ананта, Ананда Май, Тадамадова, Прямоприя. 
And other devotees who is English speaking devotees, you also can ask question. Ананта Майя, у тебя все время много вопросов. Ты можешь сейчас задать один. Малкочинс. О, а, понятно. Раде, раде. Раде, раде. Есть сундарам. Да, 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 да. So, I come later, I don't listen the question from Rasejvari. But I think maybe if, if uh, Andakaji wants Uh, to read something about this book he is reading now from this sadhu from Radhakund. Krishna das from Gavardhan. He told Krishna das from Gavardhan. Krishna das from Gavardhan. I have to go to my room. If everyone agrees, I can I can read some. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, it's an amazing book. Um, so, okay, is is it okay with everyone? Okay. Дорогие предны, вам нравится? Нравится? Сейчас Андака принесет книгу, где то, что на что он ссылался, это то, что писал Кришндас Бабаджи с Гавардхан. Okay, I'll be here. Uh, yeah, in... okay. Huh? Govinda Mohini? It's okay, sure. We're okay. waiting eagerly. Rade, rade. <laughs> rade, rade. <laughs> okay, rade, rade. I'm coming sh shortly. Rasesvari Didi, please, can you repeat your question you asked before? Yes, my dear Sundaram, I can. Um, I'm asking, how is the influence of Tulsi Devi uh, outside from Vrindavan? Because normally she arranges everything, all the Leelas from Radha Mohan, in Vrindavan, but so many devotees, and we also have Tulsi Devi, and I feel there is a vibration from her. But I want to know more about her. I, 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 how can I say? She is, she is so strong and so beautiful, <laughs> and not easy to handle as a plant. Um, so I'm very interested in to know more about her. And uh, what Sundaram попросил Россию oh, Россешвари еще раз повторить, oh. повторить вопрос. Uh, и она сказала: Я задал вопрос про Туласи, Деви. Uh, она устраивает Лилы Рады Кришны во Вриндаване. Вот. И как, как, какое она влияние имеет за пределами Вриндавана в других странах? Uh, своей вибрации и так далее. То есть, что происходит? And maybe I can add something more that what Radha Sharan said. 
um, that one devotee, I was there when this devotee said, when we touch our mala, this is Tulsi Devi, and then to think that she takes us on by her hand. And it was such a nice picture. I love this picture. Like Jaya Krishna also gave me this morning a wonderful picture. Um, so when I take my mala, I think that she is taking me on her hand and help me for chanting. This is so beautiful. I'm thankful. <laughs> который привел предный, который я вспомнил, <coughs> когда я беру четкие в руки из тулуси, это означает тулус заботится обо мне, она мне берет на руки. Это очень вдохновило. Ну вот, Андака уже пришел с книгой, сейчас будет читать. Rade. Rade, rade, rade. Anoji, how are you doing there in Moscow? Everything fine? <laughs> yes, very good. I feel so much mercy from Shimati Radhika. I feel so how I can feel so in heart how she is taking care about me. So mm. much. And even be here, I am not out of Harikatha. I'm in Harikatha. <laughs> I am I am I am living in a preaching center of Shon Renga Samaraj and I have some service to uh, Radha Krishna and Gaur Hari here. Ah. Shirade, Shirade. Eh, Rade, uh, something just about Tulasi before you and Daka arrived with uh, somebody talked. I have experience very strange now, I mean strange it's probably not so strange, but um I I got two little tulasis from Tulasi Manjari, our devotee from Croatia. And they were like a month ago going away. They, they they slightly one totally died, another but it's happened like um it it was parallel with uh, and complete <laughs> with uh, my father's death uh, like uh, two weeks ago and then after three days after like i noticed new new little leaves all around on branch of one tulsi and yesterday i also noticed one little leaf on another one but it was uh, it 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 was connected i it was what happened um, uh, on on his funeral and around it. Uh, we prepare um, speech about um, you know maybe from Bible like uh, Job talking to God and uh, arguing with uh, about suffering and everything and and in the end it was um, a poem about little uh, not poem but words about how old tree uh, leaves. Uh, new um, new little ones and in our film I just make it shorter in, in, in our uh, one one film we, we, we made here we put his voice in lit in old tree and he spoke to some youth youth with disability in chairs that now is on you to continue new um, like new life and it was so strange you know <laughs> that Really new leaves, a lot of new little little leaves come out on this Tulasi after, um, I don't know, really three to five days in this winter. It's not cold winter, but anyway, I noticed she ignore here uh, any climate changes or uh, uh, climate um, influences. She just <laughs> lives under some other uh, stories and... Uh, I don't know, it, it was so beautiful to see all those new leaves. So it's uh, Hari, Hari, Hari Pri is two leaves on one tulsi. One tulsi is gone completely. Yeah. Um 
I must check now another one also because yesterday I didn't I wasn't sure. First, I was sure that this one also another one was totally died, but yesterday I saw one leave new one on her. I, I just now I'm not sure it's really new or it's something I missed before, but I'm sure also here doesn't exist anything, and on also there's another one. Mm -hmm. Хариплея рассказала, говорит, странная история произошла у меня с Тулоси. Я получила от одной хорватской преданной две маленьких Тулоси. Вот. И когда мой отец недавно умер, где-то неделю назад, эти Тулоси ушли. Одна Тулоси почти полностью ушла, а другая почти ушла. Вот. А тут недавно, и да, мы, говорит, на его похоронах читали историю из Библии, там что-то там про дерево, которое продолжает жизнь в новом дереве, которое оставляет после себя что-то такое. Вот. И, говорит, в Тулосе э, появились новые листочки. А я уже думаю, она ушла. Вот, она снова ожила. Андака, вы отправили это для чтения этот файл? Я понял, что да. Вы отправили что-то. Uh -huh. Your mic under Kadir is closed, muted. Uh -huh. Sorry. So I sent to Radha Charan uh, what I will read now, and I would like to say send to you, Jai Krishna, uh, also these pages from this book. But how can I send you? Where where could I send you? Where can I send you? Uh, interpretations. Okay, I will I will uh, I will end your room. Now you can say to me. Ah, okay, <laughs> very fast. Okay. Um, okay. any whichever is easiest for you. Um, it could be on on WhatsApp or here on Zoom or mm. Messenger. Messenger, Messenger. So are you are you using maybe Viber or something? Uh, uh, Devi is using Viber. I'm using ah! WhatsApp. Yeah, uh -huh, she's uh -huh. on Viber. Please send me. Ah, okay, okay, okay. I, just just a moment. I uh, not sure if Nikunja, if I have your your Viber con. So maybe like this. Um, Jai Krishna. Okay. Jai Krishna, I'm yes. sending you the direct message with my okay. with with my uh, uh, my phone uh, phone number. Uh, okay. Uh, Viber phone number. Just a moment. Got it. Yeah. Okay. It's... Aha, uh -huh. I can tell you. So, Nikunja, it's plus eight one. Plus. One quick second. Uh-huh. Eight two one? That's it. Plus eight one. It's Japanese now. Eight one. Okay. Seven zero. Seven zero. Four three. Four three. Five zero. Five zero. One one. One one. Six eight. Six eight. Mm -hmm. And you can you can send me any some Rade and then we will be connected. Then I I will I will send you what I sent to Rade Char. Awesome, thank you. Shri Rade. Yeah. Shri Rade, I did. Thanks. Hey, game. Okay. Rade. <laughs> and then if I could just be put back into the the translation for Kopi Nataji, it would be all right. Okay. Okay. So, 
Parada Charan. Forward, Mikund, down. Next. We got it. Thank you. Yeah, it's it's more. There's there's oh, more. more. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> We will just read through it slowly. Uh, uh, Jai Krishna <coughs> and, and Radha yes. Charan. You don't need to wait for me or to be synchronized with me. Just, uh, you know, just translate because you are anyway, you will anyway translate from the text. I will read very then, <coughs> then I need to be in separate room because otherwise I will interrupt you. Aha, uh -huh, uh -huh. so should we then organize Russian separate room and then you can just read? <coughs> yes. Okay. Okay. Then let me just do do uh, this. Send this, and uh, then we will we will organize this uh, other one. Uh, just a moment. Just a moment. ドコピーのたさん、今のところはえ、今から読む本のそのページを今送ってくださってるんで、あの、あんだか時から。で、そこからまた、え、通訳のルームに入って読みますね。翻訳してみます。よろしくお願いします。<笑> So, Nikunja Devi, I I uh, I uh, sent you five photos. Oh, now I got it. Okay, okay, Radha Charan, I'm setting. Okay, I'm setting back back Russian and uh, Japanese translation. Mm -hmm. Then we can. Thank you. Перевод в отдельной комнате, то есть дорогие преданные. Jai Krishna. Okay, Jai Krishna, you are set. Radha Charan. English to Russian. Radha Charan, you are set. Okay. Radha, Radha devotees. So, this is going to be a story. We know this story. It's a bumblebee story. It's a story how bumblebee comes to Radha. They chase the bumblebee. And then Radha thinks Krishna. Krishna is God. So, okay, I will just slowly read. Yeah. The, the title is Radha's Transformation in Prema. And in this, this is the book, Bhavana Sara Sangraha. It's a uh, Ashtakalya Lila, meaning that this lila, it's written, it's going on between, it's book of for meditation. This lila is going on between 1 12, 1 p.m. and 1 30 p.m. So here, lunchtime. <laughs> Okay. Radha's transformations in Prema. One determined bee attracted by the divine fragrance tried to land on the lotus faces of Sakis, Radha's friends. When they chased away the bee, the bee buzzed over to the lotus flower of Radha's face. 
And he went mad, the bee went mad by the sweet aroma of Radha's face and hovered around Radha humming loudly. Zzz, you know, when bumblebees around you. Zzz. Radha glanced fearfully. <laughs> With restless eyes, while chasing away the bee with the lotus in her hand. She was chasing the bee. Go, 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 but with the lotus. Go, 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 go. <laughs> <laughs> the bangles on Radha's delicate wrists jingled musically as she was doing. So the wrists, the bangles jingled. And the greedy bee quickly returned. Run and returned. So Radha took shelter of Krishna. She came to Krishna, hugged Krishna, and covered her head with Krishna's chadar. Radha took Krishna's chadar. Oh! <laughs> When the insisting pisky bee finally got it and it was chased away, and uh, the, the bee went to the lotus forest full of lotus flowers. Then friends of Radha said to Radha, Radha, you need not fear that we any longer. We have driven away the crafty bee. In Sanskrit is Madhusudan, in Vrindavan language. We had driven away this Madhusudana. And uh, this Madhusudana has eagerly gone to this forest flower, lotus forest Padmali. Padmali means the forest of Chandravali. Oops! <laughs> Radha's rival. So it's very tricky using Vrindavan language. <laughs> Radhika was deeply absorbed in her love and she misunderstood. She understood that Madhusudana Krishna had gone to Chandravali. You remember the scene? Radha was hugging Krishna and putting his chadar over her head to protect her. <laughs> and sti still, she is there. And she thinks, oh, Krishna has gone to Chandravali, hugging Krishna with his chadar over her head. Blinded by intense ecstasy in separation, Radha felt, oh, Krishna is gone, what now? Radha could not see that Krishna was standing just here, right before her. With eye gestures, then Krishna told the Sakis, please don't tell her that I'm here. Let's see what will happen. The Sakis understood and joined Krishna in witnessing Radha's astonishing love stunned behavior. So Radha whispered to herself, Oh, where 
هرگز ما دو سودن گان He has left in to, to respond the crying of cowherd boys frightened by a forest fire. Maybe his, bo- his, his friends called him. Krishna, Krishna, forest fire. Maybe Krishna had, Madhusudana had seen some bad quality in me and he went. Or maybe some rival gopi whisked him away to a private place. Come, come. Is this why Madhusudana had, has so quickly abandoned me and left me alone in the forest? Radha, overwhelmed by Prema Vaichitya, this is Sanskrit term, which means a loving separation, but in the presence of the beloved. When Krishna is there, and Radha feels separate and separation from him, thinking that he is not there, this is called this uh, transformation of Radha's love is called Prema Vaichitya. So Radha thought that her lover had gone to another. And then Radha became jealous on Danishta and angry with Danishta, her, friend, her, bo- her girlfriend, her Saki. And she said, Danishta, where is your arrogant, deceitful dancer? Surely he is dancing to the, to the tune of his cunning partner Chandravali. And then Danishta said, Osaki, Shyama just went to the lotus forest to pick some flowers for you. And rather than was more angry. Oh, you cheating woman. He went to Padmali. To Padma, Chandravali's uh, uh, Saki, Chandravali's friend. What will happen if Krishna brings Chandravali here? And then Danishta said, Surely Padma, Padmali will just disappear in front of your incomparable beautiful face. Her beauty is nothing compared to your face. Mm. Then Radha said, oh, Danishta, it's actually not your fault. Rather, I am a fool because I trust you. Ooh. Even though I heard that Krishna had gone to the dense grove with Shaibya, I heard, said Radha, I believed your deceptive words. Thus, I imagined that Krishna had come to me. So we remember Saki said, Madhusudana is gone to Padmali. <laughs> and Radha heard, Madhusudana is gone to Padmali. Oh my God! 
Now uh, Rada is on Danishta's case. I heard this, and now you are Yara lying. So Rada lowered her head in sorrow. And so, and uh, in a pensive mood, like, uh, uh, it's like uh, she was, uh, yeah, let's, let's hear. Oh, what a trouble. Even Danishta, who is dear, as dear to me as my life itself, is cheating me. And more even, Krishna left me to enjoy with Chandravali. And it's all happening in my forest. What a tragedy. He has become a lover of my rival. Can my eyes bear to see this? I think death would be more auspicious to me now if just I die. That great cheater hid Chandravali in a solitary grove near the bank of my Kunda, near Radakun. So, that is telling Krishna hid Chandravali near Radakun so, can, so that he can run to her. He then brought me here. He told all sorts of lies to me and then ran away to Chandravali. So Lalita said then to Radha, Osaki, Many times I saw Krishna cheating you. <laughs> she is lighting a fire. <laughs> My God. <laughs> More fire. <laughs> you are a simple, honest girl. And you don't understand truth about this Krishna. Just forget him. Let us go home. Lalita held Radha's hand and encouraged her, let's, let's, let's go home. Radha became frightened and distressed because Lalita is taking her away from Krishna. Krishna is still here with Chandravali very near and we are going home. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, no. <laughs> Overwhelmed in love, Radha said, Oh, my dear Lalita, why does my obstinate, crooked mind overlook Krishna's obvious faults? And imagine so many non-existing virtues in him. <laughs> Krishna is so faulty. And my mind doesn't see it. My mind just sees Krishna's so-called good qualities. What should I do? Lalita said, just as ripe Rice paddy remains hidden with the husk. Ripe, uh, ripe rice, his husk is around. A woman should conceal her amorous desires so that she can protect her modesty. And Radha says to Lalita, Oh, Lalita, give up uses, uselessly moralizing on womanly virtues. Such talk is just pain to my ears. <laughs> just look at me. 
my life airs are about to depart. I am about to die. My heart is trembling. My body is tossing in agony. To hell with my honor. <laughs> to hell with my shyness. To hell with my good reputation. To hell with my peaceful composure. Oh, Lalita, I offer my respects to you. But quickly take me to my beloved Krishna. <laughs> to hell with everything. I want Krishna. <laughs> So, oh, Krishna is still here. <laughs> Krishna is still here. <laughs> so, although Krishna stood before in front of Radha, Radha's mind and intelligence reeled from the pain of separation. Reeled means screaming that was born of her deep attachment for Krishna. So Radha held some straw of grass between her teeth and like uh, whispered, sighed, O oh, Saki, please, please, she was begging, please so show me Krishna somewhere. Seeing that, even Krishna became struck with wonder. Lalita said, Radha, I have seen your simple and pure-hearted nature. Krishna is the king of impudent rascals and the inconstant debauchee lover of many beautiful girls. Krishna will simply cheat you. Be careful. So Radha is asking, Lalita, please take me to Krishna. And Lalita says, no, 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 no. Krishna is the bad guy here. Be careful. Let us not make things worse. <laughs> they are already, it's already a disaster. Let, let's not, let us not make things worse. So Radha replied, but what more can Krishna do to hurt me? Can he do anything more to hurt me? He already did everything to hurt me. Suddenly, Radha sees in Krishna's chest Her own face reflected in Krishna's chest. Radha sees. So she still doesn't realize. She just sees real reflection. Her reflection is Krishna's chest. And she, she thought, oh, Krishna is embracing another girl. From behind. So she saw. Now she sees Krishna. She sees her. Now she saw Krishna. And Krishna he, hugging from behind this new girl that, that Radha sees. Radha thought that reflection, her reflection was Chandravali. She, she became so jealous and turned her face away and she was Trembling with anger. Ugh. 
Kundalata, understanding Krishna was signing her with some signs. She understood Krishna's hints. And Kundalata said, O Radha, the lover, you are yearning to see, now stands before you, and he is anxious to embrace you. Immediately, jump, embrace him. Why do you uselessly turn now? He is here, and you turn your face. Why? Just jump, <laughs> embrace him. Why are you turning your face in anger? And Radha said, Kundalata, you cheater. You brought me here just so that I can see how Krishna is embracing Chandrava. Can you not see what's happening? <laughs> Radha is telling to Kundalata. <laughs> Krishna said, then Krishna said, finally. <laughs> after after said, don't tell her I'm here, just to see what will happen, Krishna is now coming out. Radha, you are mistaken. If you think that Chandraval is embracing. <laughs> Some unknown, very chaste damsel came here saying, I am a goddess of the forest and I am a friend of Radhika. Using her mystic power, the forest goddess forcibly kissed and embraced me against my will and clung to my chest. And I could not slip out of her grasp. Even I tried, don't, don't, don't. She would just not let me go. Although I begged to her, please stop. The lusty girls, girl, Refuse to leave me. Orada. Please tell her, tell your friend to stop hurting me. So Krishna is a good guy now because ladies are attacking him. <laughs> and he does everything to stay. Uh, to stay good boy. Vishaka whispered to Radha, Radha, please listen attentively what I am about to say. Otherwise, later you will become a laughing stock of all. Everyone will tell jokes about you. Just laugh about you. Why has your face suddenly changed color? It's not that another woman, it's not the another woman on Krishna's mirror, mirror like chest. You are seeing your own reflection. Become happy. And Lalita also confirmed what Vishaka said. Radha, this is definitely your reflection on Krishna's chest. There is no Chandravali there. Then Radha realized, oh, really? <laughs> oh, look, really? <laughs> and she hung hung her lovely hand 
in the embarrassment. Oh so, my God, I am I am mistaken. While Krishna and Sakis laughed. Oh, it was such a sweet mistake. My God, we enjoyed this confusion of Radha so much. She is so sweet. Kundalata said, O oh Radha, even though your lover stands in front of you here, before your eyes, you could not see him. You took your own reflection in Krishna's chest to be your rival Saki. You are always afraid that Chandravali may appear at any moment. Or Adha, in this, this is simply the manifestation of your wonderful dancing of your ecstatic love for Krishna. The dance of ecstatic love for Krishna. Vrinda, Tulsi is here. <laughs> Vrinda said, even though The chakoris of your eyes, if, even though your eyes constantly drink the flood of nectar from the full moon of Krishna's face, still your eyes are not satisfied. Your eyes are rolling around as if intoxicated and repeatedly discharge, cry, the nectar in the form of your tears. Then Kundalata told to Krishna, O killer of Aga, what are these unprecedented, matchless waves of romantic pastimes? wherein you mutually try to defeat each other. What are these waves? Now I can see that Radha has firmly bound the mad elephant of your mind with the chain of her love. And you have bound the dough of Radha's mind with the ropes of the ever fresh qualities of your blissful love. Then Vrinda said to Krishna, <coughs> O Praneshwara, Lord of my heart, you live in the groves of Govardhan. You are expert in the art of conjugal love, like the king of elephants, the skillful artisan of Shringara Rasa, meaning skillful mm, artist of erotic conjugal love. has liquefied the luck of your heart and Radha's heart by ecstatic symptoms visible on your bodies like perspiration Then, this artist joined them together as one. And uh, colored them 
with a vermilion of youthful love to brighten the interior of the play of the palace brighten the interior of the palace of the universe mm. <coughs> Shirad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Shiraz, <laughs> let me free Radha Charan. Radha, and... thanks so much. Very good. First time I'm hearing this version of his story about yeah. Bumblebee. Uh, Jai Krishna, how was your? Is it was okay? It was beautiful. Yeah, you beautiful, catch beautiful. that. Thank you. Beautiful. You could translate everything. Most of it. <laughs> yeah, she, yeah, she helped out. She I, helped I, out the. I, she helped I, out I also, the most. I also, <laughs> I also translated almost all. Yeah, yeah. Words, I don't know. Yeah, very good. Very good. It's very fine. nice. Very nice. <laughs> Thanks so much. I, I want. Thanks I so want much. this book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's very nice. Bhavana Sara Sangraha. Bhavana Sara Sangraha. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Ah, Jai Krishna, are you coming soon to Vrindavan? So first, uh, we are we are blessed to go to America first to visit my family, finally oh. introduce her to everyone, and then I'm, and then we'll work uh -huh. to go to Vrindavan someday, hopefully next year. I'm asking because uh, Kishori and I are returning to to Japan uh, February, so we can bring this book if you like. Please, please, thank you. Please. Okay. Rade. Thank you. Rade. 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 Rade.